Hi, welcome to Out and About. I'm Jeff Ondesh, and boy, do we got a tasty little treat for you today. We're going to be interviewing these two gentlemen about the Slice of the Valley. It is a great competition they have amongst area pizza parlors, and this is one that you're not going to want to miss. The food is great. They're adding some extra things this year that they haven't had in the past. It's the fifth annual, so let's just get right to this. Rob, you're the founder of this, and the Slice of the Valley is not only a great time, but it serves a lot of the community needs. You, you give out to some great charities like Someplace Safe, Habitat for Humanity, the Animal Welfare League, and the, the Vietnam Vets of America. So proceeds really from this go to some great, great needs. Right, and every penny that we bring in for the event goes to that. So uh, with one admission, you come in and you get uh, three slices of pizza. And if that's not enough for you, you can buy more. And you keep going until you explode or just say that enough is enough. But we have dessert there for those who like dessert from Mocha House. And we also have uh, uh, eight different microbreweries will be there serving beer. So it's what's a better thing to, for, to have with pizza than beer? So it's a, it's a great combination. And uh, Steve, you've been involved in this now since inception five years ago. And now you're going up against some really good competition. People vote on which pizza they like the best. Now, are the pizzas kind of like your name's not on the box? They don't know what they're eating? And how does that work? Yeah, correct. I mean, you put it into a, uh, a unmarked box and it goes to the judges and they have their little slips where they judge it. Uh, they, they give it points and then they add it up to see who, uh, who wins at the end. So it's, it's a fun, fun event. And the judges are pretty cool, too, because this year we've got a former, couple of former Cleveland Browns that are going to be judging the pizza. Right. We have Kevin Mack and Greg Pruitt are coming from Cleveland. And for those that like music, and I remember when I mentioned the song to Steve, he started dancing a little bit. Yes. But, but there was a song called Roller Coaster by the Ohio Players, so Billy Beck, who played keyboard for them, will be there. But one other thing I want to mention is at the event, we have a gentleman by the name of Bo Wagner. And Bo does a uh, Frank Sinatra tribute show. And we have a 20-piece band coming. So this band, when you walk into the, into the uh, event, you will think you're in Las Vegas. There is so much energy in the air. You'll want to sing. You'll want to dance. And it's really terrific. The, it's, the energy is at an all-time high. The food, the energy, the people. And, of course, you get a chance to meet Steve Coca. So what else could be better? <laughs> And we're standing in your new building here, and, and you've done a wonderful job here in Canfield. This, the, the new place is great, and hope everything's going well for you here. Things are awesome. You know, community's great. We love being a part of it, and we love being a part of this community event for the Slice of the Valley. So you got to come out, and, uh, you know, there's no better pizza than the pizza in our area. So the competition is tough. We enjoy it. And then... Again, what better than beer and pizza? So you got to come out and see us. All right, let's let's give a list here. It's of course your pizza, Coca's yes. Pizza, Buena Vista. And some of these are like just names that go way way back. I mean, they have the great history here. Giannino's a new newcomer to the slice of the valley this year. Iana Zones, Leo's, Marcos, Pizza Joe's, Pramani Brothers. You don't really think of them with pizza, but they're going to be there. St. Anthony's, the best Briar Hill. I know you make good good pizza here, but when you go back to the old traditional yeah. church Briar. Fire Hero Pizza, St. Anthony's is the king of the castle there. Sunrise Pizza, again, another one that goes back. Historic place, Wedgwood Pizza, Bellaria, Amen Corner from Gerard, great little uh, place there, and the Avalon, historic in downtown Youngstown now. So that's some great competition that these guys are going to come in. And, and what's really neat is your, your other judges, you've got Stan Boney, Billy Beck, Preston Steele, and then Kevin Mack and Greg Pruitt, they really haven't some of these really haven't had any of this pizza because they're not from this area, so they get a. It's going to be kind of hard for them to pick a winner out of some of these places. And by the way, some people are saying, "Well, who's Preston Steele? Preston Steele's a professional wrestler." For all the wrestling fans out there, he'll be there. But I want to mention this is uh, done by the Warren Rotary Club, so we do functions throughout the year to bring money to the community. So it's a Rotary uh, project, and uh, all the money we make goes back to the community. That's great. And again, someplace safe, Hab Habitat for Humanity, the Animal Welfare League, and the Vietnam Vets of America, they're going to be sharing in the proceeds. So this is what's going on. This is the slice of the valley. It's a pizza competition that you could be a part of. Uh, adults, children, come on 
on out. It's going to be at the Metroplex. It's going to be March 16th from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Great music, great food, great time for all. And this year it's going to be a little bit different because they're bringing craft beers into the mix. And that's going to be, uh, like you said, there's nothing better than pizza and beer. And now you can taste the craft beers. You've got some judges specifically for that. It's, it's a great, great thing for the family to come out and enjoy. Great music. Great people you're going to meet. You're going to meet some former Browns. And the best part is the pizza, man. It's just, oh, yeah. you know, what, what is better than pizza? And you're absolutely right. When you go around the country, and I do a lot of traveling, when I go places, I always try to, I don't want to go to a, a, a chain restaurant. I'll look for little local-owned restaurants or pizzerias. And there's no, no place like here for local pizza. Yeah, and it's a great place for us to showcase all of our different kinds of pizza. So, you know, you have your staples that, to go, that you go to. You mentioned Briar Hill with, uh, you know, St. Anthony's and that. But you get to come and really see all the different pizzas that we make. And I know all the other companies out there do the same thing. So it's awesome. You get to have all kinds of different varieties of pizza. So now do you put more than, like, like the categories? How many categories will you enter for Cocos? I do believe that there's one uh, traditional... And then a specialty pizza. So uh, we haven't decided what's going to go in our specialty yet. So we got to get uh, my mom and, and the family and all the high ups in there, and we'll start in the little test kitchen, if you want to call it. So in, in a pizza pizzeria like this, how many different specialty pizzas outside of plain cheese do you have? Just ballpark it. Yeah, I mean we have at least 20, 25 different. Yeah. So and then you throw in the toppings that you can add on to those, and it's a whole nother mix. So this is, is going to be a great. If you like to eat, you don't want to miss this one again. March 16th from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. at the Metroplex. Bring the bring the family. Adults are ten dollars. Children are five dollars. You for the adult you get three slices, and for the children they get two slices for that that price. And if you want to buy extra tickets, you can, and you can eat from pretty much any any slice of pizza that you want from any of the selections. And one other thing I want to mention, for the children there, we're going to have Scrappy. He's coming out of retirement, out of the dog pound to come that evening. And we also have Jocko the Clown. This gentleman's on stilts. So just entertainment for the kids as well. So there's something for everybody, from the youngest to the oldest, grandma, grandpa, bring the whole family, clear out the neighborhood, and bring them all down. That's a lot to go on in three hours, it's man. Crazy. It's crazy. You don't want to miss a slice of the valley again, March 16th from 4 to 7 at the Metroplex. Rob, thank you very much for all you do in bringing this to the valley. Steve, good luck to you, man. I hope you uh, bring home a little award for your great pizzas and pepperoni rolls, which are outstanding, by the way. I live in Canfield, and this is one of my favorite places. So that's going to do it. Make sure you get there. It, it helps the valley. It helps those charities we mentioned before get out have some fun take the family march 16th right before st patty's day what better way to spend it than with all the music all the fun at a slice of the valley that's it for this edition of out and about we'll see you again real soon you have a great month take care